Welcome back, Motorheads. This is Cool Car Finds on Facebook Marketplace. Up uh, first, got 1951 Ford for $27,000. Well, we got a pretty cool little custom Ford here. This thing actually doesn't look too bad. I like a lot of the things they've done here. This car here is sitting in primer. Still needs a paint job, so you can pick out what color you want, whatever floats your boat. Overall, pretty damn cool car, but what do you guys think of that price? Leave it in the comments. Uh, next, got 1955 Pontiac for $25,000. I think they've done a pretty good job with this old Pontiac, but then again, I'm kind of partial to the old Pontiacs. Definitely digging what they've done here. I think I'd probably go with a different color than the satin black they've got on this one here. But overall, I don't think it's a bad looking Pontiac. But I still, myself, I'm not in it at that price. What do you guys think of this Pontiac? What do you guys think of that price tag? Make sure you leave it in the comments. Up next, got 1941 Ford for $19.5. We have a pretty good looking Ford here, I'm not going to lie, it, the car presents well, $19,000 might not be too bad of a price, you definitely can tell this is an older restoration by the interior, you know, we don't kind of do those kind of things like that anymore on the inside, you know, it's got a lot of tweed kind of things going on in there, but overall I think this is a pretty solid little car right here, I think if you could get it a little bit better than the 19 they got on it, this might be a good introductory hot rod for somebody looking to get into the hobby. What do you guys think of this one? What do you think of that price? Uh, next, got 1957 Chevrolet for $25,000. Now, for the price, and this being an actual sport coupe, this might not be too bad. Now, this is a driver, definitely a driver quality 57 here. Overall, the car does present very well from what I can see here in the pictures. Looks like there's some things going on with the paint there, but overall... This is a four-speed car, too, which is also a very cool factor in my book. I like the four-speed joystick in the floor kind of deal. But overall, $25,000, I don't think this is a bad buy, especially when you're talking about a Sport Coupe 57 Chevrolet Bel Air. What do you guys think, and what do you think of that price tag? Leave it in the comments. Uh, next, got 1939 Ford for $29,900. Now there's no disputing, this is actually a very beautiful car. Very traditional 50s hot rod look to it. Love a lot of the things they've done, but you can definitely tell this is definitely an older restoration, an older build on this car here. But it's still a very cool looking car. This is actually one of the nicer looking ones I've seen for a while in the 39 variety. Now, when it comes to the price tag on this one here, it could go either way. Depends on where you're at, what part of the world you're in. I've seen these things go for a lot more than this, and I've seen them go for a lot less than that. I guess whatever it is, this particular car, it's whatever somebody's feeling like buying it for at that time they're actually laying eyes on it. But overall, from the pictures, the car, it doesn't look too awful bad. I personally, because I'm a cheapskate, I would try to get that a little bit cheaper than $29.9. What about you guys? Uh, next, got 1954. They're asking $30,500 for it. Now, this is a very traditional hot rod, maybe unconventional colors in my book, but a lot of people like these colors together, especially back then. And this is kind of old school traditional as well by looking at what they've done here with the leg pipes and all that kind of stuff with the fender skirts. Me personally, I think I'd have to go with a different shade of paint on the top. The pink and black looks good together, but uh, personally myself, not really a big fan of pink on a car. Uh, but overall, I don't think this is a bad looking Ford here. Is he right on the money? Mm. I've seen these cars here go for higher, but this is a ragtop. I've also seen them go for lower because they're a ragtop. Because they got some issues. But this one here overall doesn't look bad from the pictures. What do you guys think? Uh, next, got 1955 Studebaker for $32.5. Now, from the pictures, this car absolutely looks like it was done very beautifully during its restoration. This car looks like it's been done correctly. A lot of people don't really care for Studebakers. I like Studebakers because they're different. You don't, a lot of people didn't save the Studebakers. Now when you come across one that's in pretty decent shape, you know, you're going to pay for it. Unfortunately, you're going to pay sometimes quite a bit for it. But this one here looks to be very well done. So it may be very well worth what they're asking for. Like I said, because you just don't come across an old Studebaker very often. And when you do, you're going to pay for it. What do you guys think? Uh, next, got 1949 Lincoln for 
Well, from the pictures, this old Lincoln actually doesn't look bad. Now, you got to really like a Lincoln. Me, personally, I don't care for this body style. I think the front end's got awful ugly. But, that's my opinion. I mean, it's, that's the way it is. It's not going to convince me it's better looking than what it is. But anyway, the car overall doesn't look bad. I think he might be reaching for that price. But that interior, oh boy, that's hideous. And that's got to go. What do you guys say on this one? Um, next, got a 1953 Chevrolet for $25,000. This here is a great looking little 53 Chevy. I like what they've done with this here. A lot of people might not like their wheel choice, but I kind of like it, but I would kind of like to go back to old school, maybe something a little 50s traditional. Overall, this is a very nicely done car. I really like it. And no matter how much I love the 53 Chevrolet Bel Air, and I've had plenty of them, $25,000 seems a little steep to me because I know what I can get them for. I know what I've sold them for that were a lot better condition than this one here and had a lot more things done to them. But what do you guys think about this little 53? Leave it in the comments. Uh, next, got a 1957 Oldsmobile for $72.9. Now, this is one beautiful Oldsmobile. There's no denying that. And the fact that it's a ragtop definitely got my attention. I love the 57 Oldsmobile ragtops, 57 Pontiac ragtops. Now that price tag, I think he's swinging for the fences on this one, or he swung so hard that bat came around and hit him in the head, he got some numbers jumbled around there and didn't know where they belong. Anyway, overall still a beautiful car. What do you guys think of this one? Make sure you leave it in the comments. Well, that's all I got for you today. If you liked today's video, smash that like button, consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next one.